How to define account and account types. There are no predefined objects in Tango, meaning it is schemaless. So to create an account in Tango, you only have to load an account ID. In Tango terminology, we refer to everything that comes in as an account, whether it is an account, a product, a line of business, a sub-account, or a subdivision. Tango does have the concept of a virtual object or account type. You can create accounts of different types and then customize the view of these accounts accordingly. For example, you can use account time to designate main accounts from their products and from their sub-accounts or LOBs. But all of the main accounts, products, and LOBs will be brought into the Tango as accounts using a unique ID. Here we have two records within Tango, Vodafone R&D and Vodafone. If you notice, the account type for each is different. With Vodafone R&D, it is a business line, and Vodafone is that it's as a customer. As you can see in the UI, these two different companies are presented completely differently to the end user. The key information sections are different. Even some of the widgets that are contained on one are not the same on the other. You have full control into Tango over how each account type is presented. You can create and customize the layout for as many account types as you like, but each account can only have one account type. If you have account hierarchy, account types will also represent the various levels within that hierarchy. We will discuss account types more when we discuss the Tango required account information and account hierarchy.